we're duck hunting, I think, and we are uh, in Bolivar County uh, on the Gulf Coast, and um, typical duck hunt, nothing. But um, didn't shoot jack squat. Maybe, just maybe, we might get a duck. Everybody. Welcome to the Buckhead Hunting Show. I'm EJ with Fat Ash Barbecue. Today we're going to cook some duck. This is wild duck that was harvested in Bolivar County, Texas. We're going to cook it in the Dutch oven using a searing technique that's going to make it nice and crispy, nice and juicy. It's going to be the best duck we've ever had. I've already removed the duck breast from the carcass. It's really easy to do. All you do is get a sharp knife, follow along the breast. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to scour. the skin and what that's going to do it's going to help some of the fat render out of the duck when we cook it you don't want to cut all the way through you just want to cut a mark in the skin that's going to help that fat drip out most people when they cook duck complain that it's real greasy and this is going to help fix that it's also going to give us more surface area for the heat so we can get a nice crisp up when we cook that skin. After we scour it, we want to season both sides. I'm using a barbecue rub today. It's by Big Ron. It's Big Ron's Hint of Houston rub. And all we're gonna do is put a nice coat on it, not too much. You want the flavor of the duck to pop out. Make sure you pat it in there just a little bit for flavor then we're gonna flip it around now when you cut the duck there's a, a lot of silver skin on this side you want to go ahead and remove the silver skin like I did because if you don't remove the silver skin what's gonna happen is when you're cooking it that silver skin is gonna contract and it's gonna make the duck plump up too much it's gonna be very chewy when you eat it After we season it up, you want to put it in a cold pan. You want to put it in a cold pan so the pan heats up the same time as the duck. That's going to help the fat render out of the duck. This is wild duck, so it's not going to have as much fat as a farm-raised duck. But it's still going to be pretty fatty. We don't want our meat to be too greasy. So that's why we're going to go ahead and place it in, this, in our Dutch oven cold. Just going to put it like that get the fire ready and we'll be ready to go. I want it to cook just like a real oven. So we need even temperature on top and bottom. You remember you want to put less coals on the bottom of the Dutch oven because since heat rises you need more for more heat going up and the heat on the top will have more coals on it so it'll stable out. We're gonna grab about 12 coals. We're gonna place them in a circle where it's nice and even. Now these coals would generally last about an hour's worth of cooking this way. We don't need a full hour for this. It's only going to cook about 15 minutes. So get your 
Dutch oven, you're gonna place it right on those coals. That's gonna start heating up. Leave the lid off for right now. All right, so what's happening now is that the pan's heating up. And if you listen, you can kind of hear it start to sizzle. That's the duck fat rendering out of the duck itself. Once we get a nice layer of fat, we're gonna flip the duck, cook the bottom, put the lid on, and then put about 20 to 24 coals on top. That'll give us anywhere between a 350 to a 375 degree oven. Cook that for about 15 minutes. Take it out, we should have a nice, plump, juicy duck. We're gonna finish it off with a honey cayenne pepper glaze that I made. See, a lot of people don't like duck because it comes out very greasy because it's a fatty piece of meat. Especially if you buy duck at the store, they, they feed them in feedlots and they get real fat. But duck fat's actually very tasty if you use it right. Go look up, you'll find places that are making french fries out of duck fat and charging three, four, five times the amount that they regularly would. People go crazy over it. So if, you, if cooked properly, duck is a very good meal. Okay, so once we have all the fat that's starting to render out, you got a good grease base, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the duck. You see the nice scour in there, the nice color. Now what we wanna do is crisp it up. Oh, that's beautiful right there, look at that color. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our lid. Grab our lid. And we're gonna place about 24 coals on top of it. We're gonna leave it in there for as little time as we can, hopefully only about 10 minutes. Got the 24 coals on top. We're cooking. See you in about 10 minutes for this meal. I think we're about halfway through. Oh, that's got some great color on it. Starting to plump up. I think we got about three more minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and glaze it right now. All right, so um, I made a little honey glaze that we're gonna put on here. It's a real easy glaze to do. I use one third cup honey, about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, about a tablespoon full of uh, apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of Big Ron's rub, you could use any barbecue rub you like, and then I put about a tablespoon and a half of cayenne pepper. It's not going to be as hot as you think because the honey and the vinegar kind of take out from the heat, but it makes a nice little glaze that's going to give it a little bit extra flavor. And This is what we call layering flavors. We got the flavor with the fat, the flavor with the rub, and our last layer is gonna be this flavor, this layer of sweetness. And we don't wanna overpower it, we just wanna put a little bit on the glaze, just a little bit on there. That looks amazing. All right, it's been total cook time. Probably about 12 minutes, give or take. I'm going to take this off right now. Our duck is nice and plump. It's got some nice color to it. I'm going to place it directly on this to get catch a little bit of that duck fat so it's not too greasy. All that looks good. Bring it over to our table. We'll take it off. Look at that right there. That's what you want. That's nice and seared. 
in its own fat, it's gonna be one good meal. You look at the color on this, the exact same way. People pay a lot of money at fancy restaurants to eat the exact same thing. We cooked it outdoors, we harvested it outdoors. Let's cut this up, let's see what it's gonna look like. Now when you're slicing duck, you want pretty good chunks. You can see we're cooked all the way through, still nice and juicy. You got that layer of fat. All the way through, see right there, no pink in it. Some good looking duck right here. Nice and juicy, not dry at all. Now tell me you wouldn't want to take a bite out of that. I know you can't taste it, but I can. That's really, really good. It is really, really good. I'm gonna take this with me. Thanks. Go to MugheadHunting.com and like us on Facebook too.